Hello there and welcome to another instructional video brought to you by Zappysys. In this video we're going to cover how to get data from a source such as a SQL Server database and insert it into a Postgres database. And we're going to use two custom components. One is specifically designed for Postgres databases and the other is a more flexible option called Upsert and they can insert, update, and delete all in one step. These are all custom components that you'll be able to use after you download and install the Zappysys SSIS Power Pack. And you can get that straight from the website of zappysys.com, hover over products, SSIS Power Pack, and download the free trial. And I'll be sure to add a link for this in the description of the video below. Okay, let's hop over to Visual Studio, and you can either create a new project or open an existing one. I'm going to open an existing one, and I'm going to right-click and make a new package. So the first thing you'll probably notice are the 70 plus custom ZS components and you'll see different ones if you're in the control flow pane or the data flow pane. And these are all the components that you'll get with the Zappysys Power Pack. So if you don't know what the control flow pane and data flow pane is or any of these terms, if they don't make any sense, don't worry, that's okay. I'll add another link to another little help document that shows some basic SSIS tasks and features, and you might want to check that out before this video. Okay, so back on the control flow pane, I'm going to first add a custom step called ZS Postgres Execute SQL. So this will be a little custom step where we can do some validation in our database before we put any data in it. And so the first thing we need to do is create a Postgres connection. The most common way is to just right click in the little connection manager section and add a new connection. I'll show you another way and you can do it directly in the component. So I'm going to double click it and then I'm going to show you this little new option where you can add a new connection and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to copy my server name my username and my password and the port number is fine for me the database name Postgres is actually the one that I'm going to use so we'll hit test connection and it works so back on this connection page actually we'll close this browser and we'll open up this page so now I'm going to paste in some SQL that basically says create a table called customer data we'll call it customer data demo if it already exists drop it and then create it otherwise just create it and so this is just a little validation step that we can add every time this package runs so basically the idea is we're just going to reload this table every time the package runs you'll notice these features called insert variables so whenever you're on some Zappysys SQL tasks typically you'll see this option where you can insert some variables so you don't have to just have all hard-coded SQL. And you can click this little link to learn some more, see some more examples of how to use the variables. You'll also notice this example for view examples. And this, usually there'll be more. Right now all we're doing is creating a table, but usually you'll have other options that might help you with some SQL if you're not quite sure what the syntax should be or you're looking for some other options. Okay, so we'll click OK. And we're going to go ahead and run this task. So all we're doing right now is checking to see if the table exists, and if it doesn't, we'll create it. Great. So now, let's get some data and put it in there. So let's add a data flow task. And in the data flow task, let's go get some data. So for our source, I'm just going to use a SQL Server instance that I already have. Um, and I'm going to add the .NET source. So again, we can create a new connection. And I'm going to use this Northwind database that I already have. I'm also going to use some custom SQL. So depending on your source, you could just get a table in its entirety. Or you could write your own custom command to get some special data that you want. That's what I'm going to use. And here's just the sample that we're going to get. And we're going to put this into our Postgres database. So we'll say OK. And now we'll add our custom ZS Postgres destination. So we've already added the Postgres connection because we used it in the SQL we made. So that's super easy. So we'll just drag our connection. 
And in here, we'll say, okay, let's specify our connection. It's the Postgres one that we made. And now we'll go over to component properties. So at the bottom, you'll see the table name. Where do we want to put the data into the Postgres database? And we're going to pick this customer data demo table that we already made. So then we'll go over to the mappings tab and we'll see, okay, it already mapped our columns for us. It looks like all of them are mapped. So that's great. That's what we want. And we're going to say, okay, so really that's it. Um, we've gotten our data from our source. We're adding it into the Postgres database and let's go ahead and run this SQL command before we run the whole task. So we should get, our data and put it into the Postgres database. So we'll run it. That one ran. The data flow task is running and there we go. It put 10,000 rows into our destination. Super easy. That's great. That's what we want. So I'm going to we'll delete this Postgres task and instead of putting it directly in using this Postgres destination. I'm going to use this custom ZS upsert. So we're still getting our same data from the source using our custom SQL. But now I'm going to use this more flexible option called upsert. So our target connection, we already created our Postgres connection. So that's great. Otherwise, we could say new if we wanted to do that. And then where do we want to put it? We're going to put it in our same tasks. And already it says, hey, I've mapped the columns for you. That's awesome. Great. So the reason I want to show you this custom component is because it's really cool. It can do a lot more than just put the data into the table. Take a look at this little action box at the top. We have four options. The first is upsert. So it's going to take any records from the source and put them in the target if it doesn't exist. And if it does exist, it'll update it in the target. So how will it do that? It's going to use the key. And in this instance, we're going to make the ID the key. It can also say bulk update. So based on the matches in the target, it will update those and only update the ones that exist. Bulk delete will delete the matches. And sync is really handy. Sync will find all the rows that don't match in the target and delete them and then update the rows so that it makes it look like a copy of the source or sync. We're just going to use this upsert option for now and we're going to say, okay, it says, Hey, there's no index that might make it faster. Nah, that's okay. But you could use that if you want. So now we'll just hit run again. We're getting the same data from our source and it should put it into our Postgres database. There we go. This time I got 10,000 rows from the source and it put it in our Postgres database. That's it super handy, super easy. Hopefully you see how flexible this little upsert option is, but also you notice the custom Postgres component that once again you get from the Zappy Sys SSIS Power Pack. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, go ahead and do that now. And don't forget the link is in the description below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the Zappy Sys YouTube channel so you can get more updates and SSIS tips and tricks in the future.